Hi everyone. It's time for us to generate our prompts for the June page in our Mixed Media Morsels Misfit Makeovers Challenge. So let's get started. So here are the prompts that we chose. Our misfit that we will make over is a metal can tab. What I'm talking about by that, I'm sure you guys know, is this type of little metal tab. It can be from a soda can or canned vegetables or Pringles or whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna use this style from a soda can when I make my page. So that's what I'm talking about in case that wasn't clear, okay? All right, so then we're gonna also use blue, a security envelope, red, and punch. Now that punch could be looked at in a lot of different ways. You could um, use a paper punch and punch something. You could maybe put some fruit punch on your page. <laughs> You know, maybe you could show some boxers getting ready to punch each other. So, you know, interpret that any way you want to. The rest of these are pretty clear, but that one is kind of open for interpretation. So you guys take it and run with it <laughs> and let's see what you come up with. Um, I'm having my, my coffee and I got a new little mug. I'll show you better when uh, the coffee's gone, but it's got a sweet little woodpecker on it. <laughs> so cute. that's a new mug that I just got so I'm happy about that all right so let's get to our page all right June Wow the first thing that I'm going to be putting on my page is the security envelope portion so this is the envelope that I'm using and it was huge it was really big about this wide and I've already cut off a portion of it and I used a punch to decorate the edge. This is an uh, EK punch and I used it just to go along the edge and punch this pattern. So that's ready to go on my page and I'm gonna be just gluing down the entire piece, you know, like so. And that's gonna be basically my background. So I've got my security envelope and blue because my print was blue <laughs> on my envelope so that worked out good. The way I'm going to make over my little misfit can tab is I'm going to use a piece of ribbon and I'm just going to make it like a little buckle on this ribbon like a little embellishment. So I'm just going to slide that down this ribbon. The ribbon's a little bit too wide for this particular size tab, but I really want to use it, so I'm going to make it work. Okay, and I think what I'd like to do is put a little bit of um, glue underneath there just to hold it still. <laughs> Cute. Looks just like a little buckle. And also, if you guys uh, decide to do this, you don't have to use ribbon. You could also use um, like painted paper strips or anything that you can kind of weave right through that um, between the two holes in the tab that would that would work and then it leaves a little bit of a, an opening here too that you could also 
clip on a charm or you know some kind of little of other little embellishment maybe a bead or something I'm gonna leave mine plain at least for now of course I could change my mind later but I'm gonna put that right along the edge right there I just think that's so pretty with the blue background Thunder scared me. Wow. <laughs> okay. Got glue on my page <laughs> where I dropped that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah, that's just cute as it can be. Cute little little buckle on the ribbon. Love it. All right, now I'm almost done with this. Let me show you my cup. Isn't that the sweetest thing? It's got the little pine cone inside, and it's got the um, little red-bellied woodpecker on the side, just like the one that was. I showed you my last video at the feeder. Isn't that sweet? I just love it. So I was excited to find that the other day. <laughs> okay. Now what goes on here next? Well, first of all, this right here actually uses all of the, all of the uh, prompts. There's a tiny bit of red in these flowers, of course, but I'm gonna add a little bit more red um, I'm going to add this image. I'm going to cut it down, but I love these images. I've shown these to you guys before. They're from the, uh, the little planners that I use, these um, Birds of a Feather. The art is by Janine D. Zlotkis, and that's the one I took this particular image from. This is the one that is current for this year. This one was 2020 to 2021. This one is the one I'm using right now, 2022 to 2023. It starts in like August, so that's why you have two years on it. But it's just full of, I mean, look at the gorgeous artwork. So it's just full of all of these pretty birds. I just absolutely love her art, and I buy these little planners every year. And um, I've started using some of these images, you know, my journals and things. So I'm, I'm, I'm really going to enjoy having them. I've even bought old ones that are out of date <laughs> just to get the beautiful images out of because she's so talented. I mean, gosh, look at that. That is gorgeous. I also buy her wall calendars. <laughs> I have one hanging here in my art room right now. So anyway, that's the one that's this year and then I already have one in my cart at Amazon to purchase for next year. It's a pre-order right now and I just today put it in my Amazon store so if any of you guys are interested in her little planner it'll be right there in my store so you can find it there but anyway I'm gonna take this and make a little pocket out of it just cut the square out right here and that'll be the little pocket that I put my little prompt card in that I save in my journal each month okay so here it is got it all trimmed down and it's gonna fit just right I'm gonna slip it under my ribbon there it's gonna fit just right on my page I love that just very sweet cute okay now I'm gonna cut I'm gonna use another punch <laughs> and I'm gonna just cut the little thumb notch in the tops so that it's obvious that it's a pocket just like that All right I'm gonna go ahead and make a little border I think I want to add just a little bit more white to her flower <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of um, 
an outline here on these petals just to make that pop out a little bit brighter. Okay, now I'm also going to add a little quote right here. And uh, I used a technique, one of our early, early morsel techniques that I called wavy lettering. And a lot of you, I'm sure, will remember it. And what I did, I'm going to insert a picture here to show you. I penciled in some very light wavy lines so that I could write my quote inside those lines and make the quote, you know, curve along the little page. So I wrote it out, I penciled it in, and then I inked it in. Here's my quote. It says, appreciate the little things. Life is full of them, and they make for a sweet and satisfying life. And that's a quote from Jackson Brown. And I love it. And I just erased all of the uh, pencil lines. I had already checked to make sure that this was going to fit on my page, but I measured wrong. So. <laughs> It's too big for my page, way too big. So what I did was I scanned it and I printed it out in a smaller size. So I just wanted to be clear and upfront about that, full disclosure and all. Um, this is not, this is the one I'm going to use. It's not the original one that I, that I inked in. So here's the smaller version. See, it's exactly the same, just a little smaller. And I left a little bit of white here. And it fits right here beautifully. I love it but something in me wants to cut it out along the ed edges and make the whole thing kind of curvy. I think that would look really cute. So since there's a square, you know, straight line stuff going on here, I think I'm going to cut this out and make it a little bit more playful. Okay. I just think that's going to look more fun and playful and it does <laughs> I just love that <laughs> all right and the other thing that I want to do is uh, something else you guys have seen me do before is just to color in all of the letters that have an opening so I'm going to color those in and I think that's just going to make this whole page look so happy and fun <music> Isn't that the cutest thing? Just coloring in the little open areas. <laughs> I just love it. All right, and that's going to go here and see the difference that makes. Such a nice, colorful, bright, and happy page. All right, so I'm going to stick that down. The only thing I have left to do is put my little prompt card in the pocket and I have that right here all ready to go. This is a scrap piece of ribbon that I'm going to put on the top of the tab as a tab I should say. Let's see how it looks. It's perfect. I love that. That was such a simple little page, but I love it so much, you guys. It's got some of my favorite artwork on it. The fun little technique of the wavy lettering and then coloring in the holes. <laughs> and um, just, just the fun stuff. I just love all of this. And so... A simple page and yet very effective 
to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I can't wait to see what you create using these same prompts. And so make sure you post those in the Mixed Media Morsels Facebook group. That way everyone can see and enjoy them and be inspired by them. Also, if you're new to the Facebook group, I've, I've said this before, but for any new people coming in, when you come to join the group, you have to agree to the rules of the group. So if you don't agree, the Facebook group will automatically decline you. So make sure that you answer that question. Do you agree to the rules? And if you don't see the question, you may need to scroll a little bit to find it. If it's just not there, try using a different device. Use a phone, a computer, a tablet, whatever you have available to you. And if that doesn't work, then on your computer, use a different browser. For some reason, sometimes it works better that way. So, okay guys, so much fun. Thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes today. And I hope that you have a ball with yours and enjoy every moment of it. And we will see you again soon in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.